Oh, yeah. So, a quick reminder that um, if you're watching this video right after it's posted uh, on Thursday, um, later today at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be hosting a live Zoom seminar regarding uh, meditation and ways to simplify um, meditating. Because meditation is a, a subject that screws a lot of people up. Um, and it doesn't have to screw you up. So I want to share, um, you know, some common sense advice that we don't hear enough about in regards to meditation. And you can join that seminar if you are part of my uh, newsletter. Uh, you'll get an email with the Zoom information. If you want to sign up for my newsletter, I'll put it below in the description. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to remind people of that. And then the second thing I want to talk about in this, uh, what I think will be pretty brief car video today, uh, is, you know, the last video I made, I was talking about the best manifesting teacher, right? And, um, you know, I always, I always say, or generally speaking, I say like, you know, first of all, you're your own best teacher. You're the person who knows you better than anybody. And I also always say, you know, you got to be flexible with what teachings work for you at a certain time and what teachers really resonate with you because everybody is different. Um, you know, one person is going to love Neville. Somebody else is going to love Abraham Hicks. And, uh, you know, that's all good. It's kind of like, you know, we also had a recent video talking about variability and like how in reality transurfing, Vadim Zalen saying that, you know, all these ideas and models are pointing at the same thing and we fight over them and say our idea is best. And that's silly, right? So obviously you have a huge degree of flexibility, much more flexibility than people realize usually when it comes to implementing these manifesting and law of attraction ideas. I think that pretty much goes without saying. Nonetheless, <laughs> the point of the last video, the main point at least, was that I really do think, in my opinion, and of course this is just my opinion, but in my opinion, I really do think that there is a better manifesting teacher, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the best manifesting teacher when it comes to uh, teaching these ideas in a practical psychological way of all the teachers of the last 100 or so years or 120, 150 years or whatever, I think that the best teacher that I've come across, and I, I say this emphatically, for me, is Emile Coué. And I, I really think for the majority of people who are into these ideas, even if um, your subjective preferences and your spiritual incl inclinations don't make him your favorite teacher like you might Neville still might be your favorite teacher or Abraham Hicks or Vadim Zalin or whatever but nonetheless I would make the argument that no other teacher none of those teachers uh, explain these ideas in a practical psychological way better than Emile Coué so I you know in that in that sense I really do think that Emile Coué is the best manifesting teacher of recent times. Uh if you want to practically improve your life and have information that makes a lot of psychological sense to help you do it and that is explained in a very like common sense psychologically sound way Emile Coué is the guy to turn to. I think more than Neville, more than Vadim Zalin, more than Abraham Hicks, more than all these other terrific teachers, fantastic teachers. Those other teachers are going to work for you based on your sensibilities. Kuwait is going to work for most people in terms of you understanding this manifesting advice better just because he's so damn practical. And it's no coincidence that he was much, much, much more successful at helping people uh, improve their lives and cure themselves and heal themselves than any of these other teachers. I mean, I've talked about this before. Just people don't, 
generally speaking, speaking, people don't actually look at this stuff. They don't, they don't explore, you know, the history of, of these manifesting ideas over the last 100 years or so. Kuei had incredible success rates helping people. These other teachers, Neville, Abraham Hicks, whoever, all the popular teachers, they do not have success rates nearly as high. Nearly as high. Doesn't mean they weren't great. They were great. Absolutely. Um, but Kuwait made more sense and was a heck of a lot more effective for most people than any of them. So that's why I personally, when I'm, you know, doing my best to try to implement these ideas in my life, that's why I try to turn to Kuwait before anybody else. And it's like why I was saying the other day when I get away from Kue and I'm not looking at his information as much and listening to some of these more spiritual sounding LOA teachers, um, I get sidetracked and I, you know, often don't feel as good. And it's because I'm confused. Kue doesn't confuse me. Kue makes sense. And I don't think he just makes sense to me subjectively. I think he makes sense to most people. He made sense to the peasants of France and to children. You know, something else I've said before is that Kue, you compare him to most of these more prominent LOA teachers today that we hear about on social media and that get touted as these big gurus and, you know, have these, it's basically these cults around them, right? Kue was more Christ-like than any of those teachers, in my opinion. You know, people who, you know, met him and worked with him, they were like, he was an example of like a, you know, a living Christ. And he always said, it's not me. It's not me. He goes, this is something you're doing to yourself. That's a fucking good teacher. So that was the point of that last video. Uh, yeah, and again, if you want to join us for that, uh, you know, seminar today, free seminar on meditation, uh, you still have a couple hours. If you sign up to, to the newsletter, you'll get the email with the Zoom link. If you have any questions, let me know. If you'd like coaching, let me know. I can be reached at radicalcounselor.com. Till next time.